Hi, my name is Boris and in this tutorial I'm about to show you how you can take a simple bass synth sample and turn it into a really unique pre-drop sound effect. Let's give the track a listen, so this is what we're going to be making today. So we're going to be working on this gliding sort of sample here. But before we get into the details of this tutorial, if you like what we are doing, consider subscribing for more Ableton Live tips like this one, because we've got a lot more coming up. And make sure to check the description for links to this project file we're working on and the sample pack that is used to create this effect. The Melodic Techno project file is called Decades and the sound pack is called Masquerade. You'll find links to them below the video. Okay, so there is a little bit of creative processing here. We are not using this synth loop in a very obvious way. First of all, let's find this loop and hear what it sounds like by default. So going into our everything bundle and to sound packs and to masquerade loops, uh, synth loops. This is the sample we are going to be working with. So it's quite a basic bass loop, but we are using it in a completely unorthodox way because we're doing a bit of a lead here. Let me quickly show you the technique. So this is what it sounds like when we play C3, C4, and C5. And basically this sound is gliding from a very high note all the way down to a lower note. And we're doing a bit of processing to make it a bit washed out. Okay, so first of all, let's turn on the looping here, because now we are going to be actually able to play a very long sound instead of it ending after it reaches the end, and it happens quickly in the higher registers. And actually the same technique that we're using here was used to create the lead you are hearing after this effect, and we also have another video covering that, so make sure to check it out as well. Just a quick break before we go back to the tutorial. If you find these type of videos helpful, we can highly recommend the PML Academy with over 35 full-length online courses, spreading over topics like writing chords and melodies or arranging your songs to producing entire songs from start to finish. So check out the link in the description to see what's inside the All Courses bundle exactly. Okay, so let's go to controls, to glide, let's turn it on and let's increase the time to almost three seconds and let's glide it. So because it's a bass note and because we are pitching it up here, we are getting a timbre that wouldn't usually be possible if we tried to synthesize this. Okay, so first of all, let's use echo to blur the sound a bit because it's a little bit too aggressive. So let's go to audio effects, echo, and we're just going to use the default preset here, but we're going to use the ping pong setting. So it goes left and right and becomes a little bit wider in the stereo spectrum. Let's increase the feedback as well, almost to 100% like 95 or so, and 50% of dry wet, a little bit less. Maybe we can also increase the reverb a little bit, up to 10%. So now it's already, it already became a lot more psychedelic, so to speak. Okay, and we've got a bunch of other effects here on this lead. So an EQ, a compressor, an auto filter which cuts off the lows, very simple processing here, a utility which just brings down the gain a little bit, and an auto filter and which actually is important. Maybe we can actually paste that whole thing in here. This little auto filter is quite important to the sound because it's got this LFO setting. So it goes left and right here and it cuts off a little bit more in parts and cuts off a little bit less in parts so that basically this sound is not present so much. But it's also done automatically, so it's very easy to do. So if we play this now, So as you can hear now, it stands a little bit in the background because we've got this EQ, which is cutting the lows and highs. Also this auto filter, which cuts off a little bit of the lows. And we've got this auto filter, which goes up and down and cuts off more of the sound in parts and cuts off less in parts. And we're using this LFO to add a little bit of movement here. And that is basically it for this video. We're using an echo, bunch of normal effects to narrow down the frequency spectrum of this effect. 
and then an auto filter to give it a little bit of filtering movement. So let's turn it down in volume and hear what it sounds like. Maybe we can actually paste in this MIDI information and disable the original clip. To me it sounds very close to the original. And that's basically it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Consider checking out our Music Production Academy, where we've got courses for both beginners and more advanced producers. Subscribe and hit the notification bell, like and comment if you like this video, and I will see you in the next ones.